Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Well, the days are getting shorter as we get into September. That means the nights will be getting longer and everything will be trending cooler as we get on into September. Already our average daily high temperature is now down to 85 degrees and we'll see temperatures right around that even cooler than that as we get into the upcoming weekend. We've got a nice cool fall like start this morning, 59 degrees under a clear sky as we start your morning here in southern Kentucky. As we look at temperatures around the Mesonet Network, check these out. This is uh, pretty cool. 52 up in Calhoun and McLean County at this hour. These are real-time temperatures coming in the Kentucky Mesonet Network. 56 right now in Russellville. Then you see a 54 Hardensburg, 53 in Litchfield. Then you start to see some low 60s as you head out toward the Green River Lake, Lake Cumberland area, and then back uh, to the west of us, a little bit cooler uh, back that direction toward the uh, land between the lakes. Then you throw in the amount of moisture that's in the air. We call that the dew point temperature. And this morning, they're in the 50s and low 60s, which is a very stable, very comfortable air mass, dry as well. After the weekend rain showers that came through the area, this is a taste of fall that will be with us, it looks like, as we get on into the upcoming weekend. Now, we are seeing a few clouds this morning. This is a live shot from Doppler Cam. We're going to see a mix of clouds and sunshine to start the morning. There's a weak disturbance that is sitting right over us. We call it a trough. It's almost like taking an area of low pressure and stretching it out like a rubber band, and it's sitting right over us. Now, that will cause some cloud cover, as we're seeing this morning, but any rain shower activity should be further to the east of us. 59, the current temperature reading right now in Bowling Green. The winds are near calm. Humidity, 97%. That'll go down, though, as we go through the day, and the barometer is rising. We check a few of our AAA systems weather cams. Edmonton is starting with a, a partly cloudy sky. You're at 62 degrees, mainly clear. At the Custer Cam up in Breckenridge County, your temperature a cool 54, 62 in Franklin this morning with a partly cloudy to high cloud, uh, high cloudy, uh, higher clouds, I should say, uh, that are in the sky. Over parts of southern Kentucky, we're seeing that too. Glasgow seeing a temperature of 62 and mainly clear this morning. Rough River Lake, that's our hometown forecast for today. Presented by the Kentucky Lottery, we're looking at 80 for E-Town, 79 Hardensburg, 81 for Litchfield today with that mix of sun and clouds. And then mostly sunny a little bit later today. The Kentucky Lottery Powerball jackpot now estimated to be at $127 million. Mega Millions estimated to be at $41 million. Temperatures throughout the region from the Ohio Valley, the Southern Great Lakes, down to almost... The Dixie states were seeing 50s and 60s, low 60s this morning. It is 60 at the Bowling Green Airport, a little bit warmer 70s to the south of us where some of that muggy air that we had a few days ago has been suppressed further south. And the rain showers, well, they're moving up the eastern seaboard away from us. We're going to be rain free at least for a couple of days. And then you notice this morning that big moon that was out there. That's the harvest moon that is going to be with us not only this morning, but again tomorrow morning. That beautiful moon that comes out this time of the year. We're going to see that. Here's that disturbance, that little weak trough that has settled over the area. That's going to bring us a few clouds, but any rain shower activity should be further east of us along the Cumberland Plateau. Southeastern Kentucky could see some rain showers later this morning into the early afternoon. That disturbance is going to move further east, and then we'll see a mostly sunny afternoon after that. Tomorrow looks good, too, but there's a big front out in the Central Plains. That is the front that is eventually going to bring us a big taste of fall once we get into the end of the week, into the weekend, it will also bring us some rain and thunderstorms for the middle part of the week. Becoming mostly sunny after those morning clouds, we'll see a pleasant 82 today, 62 and mainly clear tonight, maybe a little bit of patchy fog again. 86 tomorrow, mostly sunny. It will be 
A little bit warmer, but still not that humid. 87 on Wednesday. Good chance of showers at 70% by the afternoon and evening. 60% chance of rain and thunderstorms on Thursday. Turning cooler to 77. And then there's that pleasant fall-like weekend with highs in the low to mid-70s. Overnight lows dropping into the donut. Yeah. So, uh, 50s is what I meant to say. <laughs> I was distracted by the donut.